On the final weekday before lawmakers returned to pier for veto day in South Dakota, Governor Kristi Noem announced three new vetoes. In a news release, Noem said that she was not signing two House bills regarding spending authority and one that would give pregnant minors the ability to consent to medical treatment if a parent withholds consent, as well as Senate Bill 151. That's regarding marijuana impacts on a person's criminal record. It would have automatically removed Class 1 misdemeanors related to marijuana from the public background records. The bill's also retroactive, meaning all previous convictions would be removed, not just future ones. Overriding a governor's veto requires two-thirds majorities in both chambers.